Hello and good morning. Good morning from Stitches and Jacks. Just 20 to 12 morning. So, yeah, hanging on to the morning with dear life, and it's a little bit too late for 11 Zs. I have my pound mug, my dear queen. She's a bit faded now. Oh, 2016, so I've been drinking out of this practically every day for eight years. <laughs> Holds a very nice cup of tea. Oh, I didn't even clean the table last night, this morning. Oh, well, I'm afraid you haven't seen the boys. Um, they've gone off this morning. They were actually late for school when I dropped, when I dropped them off. Um, it was just one of those mornings, which doesn't happen very often, but that's how it went. So we kind of, I was a bit like, because big responsibility taking somebody else's children into school and then, especially if they get a black mark or late mark, I think it's called. My daughter was fine. There was just lots to do. There was sun cream to apply. Fred's got a nasty um, gash on his kneecap. Um, so it's practically, he's got a scab practically the whole of his knee. Um, so, yeah, that needed looking at this morning. And he's cut himself here somehow in the corner. So it's just um, opening up. He's one that he does love a bit of, su uh, not pseudocrem, South Lawn. And then he lost his bunny that Jeanette bought him and he couldn't find it and he wanted to take it in for show and tell. Oh my word, he was nearly in tears. But we found him. He was under the pillow, the one that he hadn't looked under. <laughs> so we sorted that out. And then it's um, antihistamines, inhaler, Oh, so we did did all that this morning. It was like, so we all missed our walk through the park because when we go through, and especially after last week, because it was pouring with rain, it was very soggy. So we were looking forward to a nice calm walk before we went into um, school, but that didn't happen. So can you hear it? Oh my word. Oh my word. Hear that silence? Yeah. So I dropped the boys off. Mr. Jack's dropped Reuben off. He's gone over to my mum's. He couldn't go. Was it Wednesday? Was it Wednesday? It was raining. And he was waiting for a tool. He's busy cutting a neighbour's tree that's hanging over. He's done all the lower branches. So he bought, he's bought a tool and he's after doing the top branches. And the green bins went today. So he's after filling them up. Because I'm assuming they'll come in a fortnight. Well, that was a load of waffles, wasn't it? <laughs> so excited here, so excited. So I'll come back. I've um, yeah, tidied the debris up. Miss Jacks normally does that. We normally do the dishes and I go because I have a half hour trip to get to school. Um, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Hayden was high today, but um, you have to do well. I didn't do very much last night. We were tired because we'd been up I think since was it 10 to 6 yeah my daughter's dog was um, not very well and uh, we woke up to him yes but he's been sick in the bedroom so I had to sort all that out and wash the carpet and all that to start before even the little ones arrived we had a fabulous time yesterday with the two little ones and just it seemed to be real grandparent time real quality time and now that Bonnie will go to her granddad he's so happy I didn't realize how much it had upset him but he said to me yesterday he said I think it's because I've not got a beard he says I'm not having a beard that's what upsets her that's a big thing big thing so we um Alfie and I Alfie's read a school book which I think I've spoken about and I had to get to a page I think 110 and then he informed me that he's up to 150 so so I'm up to 190 119 really really enjoying it really enjoyed it so we had a really lovely conversation it's just over 300 uh, pages long and i think it's a really good um narrative about the friendship groups and the balance and how they can change um and people's perception of other people so we watched a little bit more of the film last night and my husband was joining in and Alfie was talking about the book and telling us about the characters um so that was really really lovely we enjoyed that and we watched the football yeah so and the boys were allowed to um 
sit on the coffee, well, sit at the coffee table and have their dinner, which was really funny because Fred went and sat at the table and Reuben when uh, Mr. Jacks was um, dishing up. So, um, yeah, they thought that was a great treat. Then ice cream, then a walk, and then baths and beds. And, yeah, so I'm just going to... I say take the day, but I'm going to, yeah, just go at a slower pace because I think you have to be kind to yourself. The other book that I'm reading is Back When We Were Grown Ups by Anna Tyler. So I want to finish this by the end of July. So I need to work out how many pages I need to read. Oh, it's my steps. So I did 14,000 steps, 330 and 337 of my calories. Um, so I did get a little bit of knitting complete. I think I started. I'd started this, the heel, done the flap, and now I'm just going down the gusset. So I'm just, is this the heel turn? I think. So yes. So there we are. So that will be done tonight. Or when I'm editing, I'm halfway through editing, so I want to go and finish that. So I was going to sit here, have my cup of tea and have a look through my magazine and just take a few minutes so I will speak to you later on today hello <laughs> I have moved from the table I promise oh, after I sat yeah after we sat um, chatting Mr Jack had come home um, and showed me pictures of um, the work that he has been doing at my mum's with this tree oh it's amazing um, so yeah, so, so that was good, that's done. I did sit actually and flip through the magazine, but I picked up my book. So I've um, worked out how many pages I've got to read if I want to finish it by the end of July. And um, it's 15, so I sat and read that. And do you know what, it was just really nice sitting here um, and reading that. The dishwasher's on, it's on the last bit of its cycle, I think. So I hope that's not making too much noise. Um, I spoke to my stepson and um, just checking if he's going down to London next week. He doesn't know yet. I I'm I'm offered to go around and just give um, you know, our daughter-in-law um, a hand with the babies and get them bath so she can come in from work, get them bath and get them to bed so she can have you know, some time in the evening. And I bought, I'm looking at these. I was just showing him these. Did you ever have children and you put them in matching outfits? These are for the two boys, look. So this is nice 12 months, this is 18 months to two. Reuben is two and a half, but he's quite slight, um, even though I think he's quite tall, but I think that'll fit him, so we'll try, try these on. But yeah, my stepson really liked them. So we need to get a photograph. I've got a couple of photographs of the girls. Um, my youngest daughter, she uh, said, I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. Then Fred was born and she got two boys, so she did try to get them. And even though Alfie's a, he's way too old now, but occasionally they might just have like, I don't know, a pair of navy shorts and maybe a shirt or something. So I've done my editing, that's, that's up. Some video set for this afternoon, so that's good. So that's that pressure off. And then um, I was working on my sock and I finished. So I've turned the heel and now it's just the foot. Yes, this is so beautiful. I just love all the colours. How do they get all those colours together? Like, yeah, just beautiful. So that's easy, so I will definitely get that done. So I'm just, I don't know if you're the same, but my mind goes and I just think to myself, oh, do I have to, um, now what do I have to do like for next week? I've got another pair of socks which I need to pull out a book. One, one sock I just need the length for the foot they're only um, vanilla so I'll be able to do that so that's good I was just looking at some comments I'm sorry that I've yeah, just got behind Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are my busiest um, days I think I've been out every day since, since Monday so Heather thank you very much uh, Freddy's Sports Day was really good we really enjoyed that um, and the craft that we've been taking into Girls' Brigade, we've spoken about it as leaders and we tend to do like crafty things with them, but it's at certain times of the year, you know, like um, sort of Harvest Festival when we go back in the autumn, um, fall, Christmas, 
Valentine's, Easter's, Mother's Day, but maybe we need to put an element of that in. Maybe I'll just, yeah, take my knitting or my crochet, or they're into this diamond art as well, that we perhaps have that. Maybe for a, like a half term, we choose one and they can go off and um, just have a go at that. So yes, I thought that was a really, um, really good um, tip. You know, it is important to have them. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I was just talking about the boys' clothes, and the, the girls' clothes are just so easy, like to get because it's like three times as much. And the boys' clothes, it's yeah, just shorts and trousers, isn't it? And uh, can be quite boring. Um, so Karen, yes, Freddie loved his shirt. Out of all of them, Freddie is the fashionista. I cannot go out <laughs> with Freddie on my own because I have no money left. Because he just says to me, oh, oh Grandma, look at this shirt. Oh, can I have the shorts to match? Oh, the shoes would be nice. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he loved it. But I think his mum's got to take the short, shorts back. I got, But I should have twigged, really, because I held the shirt up. I held age seven, because not seven till July. And that's what I find hard. Um, I held the seven up and I thought, oh, that shirt, it just didn't look long enough in the body. So, and they're quite, yeah, I can see that he's starting to fill out. Alf is quite broad. He's like built like his dad. I think Freddie's going the same way now. I can see a change in his shape. So I picked up year at size eight or whatever it is, year eight, age eight, age eight. But I got the age seven shorts. So I think my daughter's going to take those back. I've left of the receipt. Um, What else? What else have I seen? Oh, Bonnie and the ice cream. Yes, um, Karen. She was, oh my word, we had an ice cream probably a couple of weeks ago and um, she wanted her mum's ice cream. She didn't want her ice cream. So mum was explaining to her patiently and it's really funny when you think like a two-year-old really understands what you're saying. So she had a mum's ice cream and then she dropped it so my daughter didn't have an ice cream and then she insisted on having hers which was in a pot um, and then she dropped that as well and then she started on me I said to my daughter my word I'm not taking her out for an ice cream until she's 10 she was just on one but yeah she was as good as gold I think her dad was there so I think that makes a difference um, as well and Debbie thank you thank you for your lovely comments about my blanket can't really take any credit because I'm just following the pattern and I just keep thinking oh my word it's lovely my poor husband I'm like, oh what do you think of this oh what do you think of this and he's going yeah yeah really nice really nice <laughs> the pizza that we went the pizza restaurant we went to on Tuesday night was absolutely fabulous they were enormous like falling over the dinner plates which you would have seen and I'm not a pizza lover but yeah so I'm coming to this restaurant oh my word they're sourdough so I'm trying to understand now that I think I like a pizza as long as it is thin, very, very thin, light, um, and a, what's called a white pizza. You probably all know this. I don't know because I don't eat them. Um, and it's sort of mainly like, like a cheese or a garlic on it. And there's no tomato sauce because I ordered the portobello mushrooms. I was having a vegetarian yeah, option um, and it came with the tomato sauce and I was so disappointed. I was like, oh. And that's when it hit me, obviously. That's what I don't like. I like it tomato sauce in other things. So, um, yeah, but it was, it was delicious. I gave two pieces away, I think. And then I, and I, they took two pieces home. So I had literally half, which is, that's a lot of pizza for me to eat. But it also upsets my stomach in the sense of, that it's just heavy. You know, when you feel like, well, feel like I've swallowed a boulder. <laughs> it was really nice. Geraldine, I really agree with you about buying sandwiches outside, especially, well, supermarket sandwiches, because I was taught, where did I, oh, I think I just had a bit of money when I first had my first daughter, Laura, I went over and helped out, well, didn't help out, I was being paid at the bingo hall to make the sandwiches, and it was about putting the sandwich, putting the filling in the middle of the sandwich and leaving a big line all the way, so when you cut through it, it looked really thick, but then when you started to eat it, there was a load of bread it that wasn't filled um, and also there's been like a bit of a scare in our country in the UK in the sense of a lot of sandwiches and stuff has had to be recalled for because of um, E. coli um, as a matter of precaution so that's quite interesting yeah my mum was really funny about having a sandwich so she bought, bought what does she buy oh she bought her rolls but and she went back and she just had butter at home but I like a, um, a buttered roll 
Right, it is now five to four. I'm gonna, well, I was about to put some washing out, but it looks, feels like the clouds are coming over. Um, put some washing on the line. And I'm going to go and do some quilting. So I'm going to make myself, well, no, I'll have a glass of water. <laughs> like I say, make myself a drink. Have a glass of water. I do feel very dry today. I've also been trying to organise um, an outing for Girls Brigade. We're going bowling. So it's a question of like sending all the information, then waiting for the texts to come in, then um, working out who's coming, and it's plus one, um, and then it's booking these lanes and things. So we're hoping to get that tied up today so if I can gather all that information. <sighs> So always harder than what you think. It's harder in the sense of you wait, you're just waiting around, but I have a list. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and do this um, couple of jobs. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm going to take some time and do some quilting. Work on my quilt this afternoon. So this is my crazy patchwork quilting. Sorry, it's wobbling the table then. So just a quick recap, if, any, if anybody's new, because I've had some new subscribers. I took nine fat quarters, and it's literally a quarter of a metre, yard, a square. Um, sandwiched it together. So you've got the printed fabric, the middle, I've got a needle in there, and the backing fabric. <laughs> and then we were doing a cut, moving the top piece, down to the bottom piece and so on. So I've completed four cuts in total and this is what my block looks like. So it's kind of, yeah, a bit like crazy paving that it had in the 60s, 70s. And then to sew it together, we're using the stitches as decorative stitches on our sewing machine. So I've, I think I've done one, two, there should be another one somewhere. Oh, it's and it's very faint down the middle. So this is the one that I was working on. So out of the nine, I've completed five. That's right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So I was merrily sewing away and chatting and then um, I realised that my, my bobbin had run out. So I've got, I've gone this far. So I'm there. I need to get to there. And I'm just wondering if I can carry on because it's a dark fabric and it's not going in an exhibition, it's not for anybody but me. I think it's just going to be a bit of a pig <laughs> to unpack, unpick if I show you on the back. So I'm wondering if I could get away with it just that little bit to start off with. But I'm not brave enough to do that yet. <laughs> I'll do the other pieces. So, um, yeah, so I need a piece of practice fabric just to see where my machine is. And perhaps that also will tell me where it's going to start again. So that might be a feasible option. Right. Let's get on. Wow. Um, I think I've quilted on the three blocks that needed quilting. What do they say when you are tired? Don't do it. Stop. Stop because you'll make a mistake. I have made a mistake. When I started, all I could hear in my head was, I'm not unpicking it. I'm not unpicking it for the block I've still got to, you know, where I run out of bobbin thread. So set the machine up. Didn't, what they also say to you, do a practice piece. Do a practice piece. So this is, oh, is it behind me? No, where have I thrown it? <laughs> oh, it's here. Right in front of me where I can see it. Oh, my word. I can't believe I've done this. Right, so this is the piece that I need to do. Can you see the stitch in here? It's all these like little, I don't know, stars. Stars for want of a better description. And it's there's, so my thread? No, the thread's further down. You can't see navy on navy. That's 
there it's on there and I would like to go down to there oh that's just giving me an idea oh no it hasn't given me an idea so <laughs> I'll show you what I've quilted oh sorry so I did my practice piece Always the right way. Got so many bits on here. I don't know which one's the right one, but oh, sorry. There's the practice piece. You see what I've done? It's supposed to be this, and I've done this. That's one of the ones I did this in the light grey. So I thought, what do I do? <laughs> well, I'm sewing it, and I'm thinking. I better just check that everything's okay and I was halfway along this piece and then I realised I've used, selected the wrong stitch. So instead of having little stars, I've got little flowers. Or oh, you can see it better on here. I've got little flowers going along, which I've got little flowers going down in the grey. So... I was like, <sighs> I've started, so I'll finish, which I did. But sometimes if you make a consistent mistake, <laughs> it looks like part of the pattern. I'm not following a pattern. Well, I'm following my head and whatever's in my head, I don't know. But I have two lines now that are the same. So I think what I will do is I'll incorporate <laughs> another stitch, perhaps my Frankenstein stitch. If I put that somewhere else in the quilt. So I'm going to have six blocks. Yeah, I've got nine blocks in total. Nine blocks are going to have this star going across them. And then three won't. Well, one, one wouldn't. I was like, what do I do? And I thought, right, I'm going to go. I don't know how I'm going to put them. Whether they're going to be on a... They'll be on a diagonal slant, I think, because of where your eye's going to focus. I think if they were in a straight line or horizontal, it might just focus on that. That's my thinking. And then I've just picked up that because I've numbered them all from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But they're not going to stay like that. I will once I've trimmed them all down. I'll be looking at them, I think. So this is one that I've that I've just sewn. But this one here, instead of it being the daisy, is a different stitch. So I'm hoping I can get away with it. But firstly, so that's those three panels. So I need to change my machine, change my um, embroidery stitch and see if I can pick that one up and then go from there and maybe have to fight calling it a day today. Right. <laughs> it's done. Where are I? Yeah. Run out of cotton to join in it. Really, don't think you can. You're going to have to look pretty hard, I think. Nobody's going to look at this that hard because it's for me. So I've gone all the way down. Yeah, all the way down to there. So it gives me a natural break. So I think what I need to do is I need to sit and look at this and really think about it. Um, just to make sure that I get everything right. If I repeat two embroidery stitches in, in two different colour cottons, hopefully it will look as if um, it was intended. And so I'm working on block six out of nine no seven out of nine eight out of nine and nine out of nine and it's just the way it's come together she says what block is this? seven oh no it isn't it's just where i started off i think so I have this at the moment, this stitch on two pieces, two two out of the nine, but I need to double check it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it. 
well it would be nice to just say to you oh I've just spent a couple of hours quilting look what I've made Ta -da! and it's all done it isn't <laughs> so I'm going to yeah just take a break from that and go and sit quietly and maybe make some notes and see if I can make some sense and then maybe tomorrow I'll come back and I'll either have a plan or I will have executed the plan or I'll have thrown it in the corner. Um, I don't know how much footage I've got today, but I'm going to leave it now. Yeah, it's just gone five o'clock, if that's OK. I want to phone my mum and see how she is. Well, my husband goes over. I phone her every day. Um, she's just lost her husband in January. So I do phone her every day. Um, and when my husband goes over on his own, it's a, another visit, a different kind of visit than having me. We go over separately and we go over together. So I like to leave it for a little while. And um, it's normally a quick call because she's already spoken to somebody. Um, but I just want to make sure that she's OK. So I hope you have a lovely Friday evening. Yes, let me know what you're doing this weekend. If you're doing anything, I don't know, what's your perfect weekend? Mine would be, I don't know, if you ask me that question, oh, crumbs, yeah. 40 years ago, I'd be out clubbing it. Um, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, I'd be in with my children. 20 years ago, still in with my children. 10 years ago, yeah, we might have gone out. We wouldn't always go out on a Friday night, but um, the children would have been an age where, well, yeah, there would have been an age where we'd have sent them down to the corner shop or we'd have gone to Blockbusters. Who remembers Blockbusters? And they always preferred going with my husband rather than me because I'd say to them, oh, you can have a pound. You can have a pound. And these are teenagers. It's not that long ago. And they'd say, <laughs> but husband would just go, oh, go and get what you want. Yeah, go and pick something. And they'd come back with all of this. And that was a treat. But then perhaps they wouldn't have had that treat with him if I'd have, uh, yeah, if I'd have said something. Oh, my word, I'm waffling. I'm looking at this thinking, oh, my word, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, I'm not unpicking it. Right, I'll see you um, tomorrow for Saturday. Oh, my word. So we'll have, yeah, we'll have Saturday and Sunday together. And then it's one more week of June. That's mad. That's got, it's gone so quick. So by, oh, crumbs. Yeah, week on Sunday, we'll be halfway through the year, hurtling towards, um, you know what? Oh, my word. Right, and on that note, my lovelies, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Night. You're gone.